Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Ninja Blevins. And I'm Ty's dad, Chuck. Hi, I'm Sid from the internet. I'm her mom, Janelle. <laughs> and these are our kitchen essentials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are my kitchen essentials. These are his kitchen essentials. More like her kitchen essentials, because this is not my kitchen, and I don't cook. Like that. First one is our pistachios. We live with these. Mm -hmm. They're always here. Mm -hmm. I have a subscription for delivery for pistachios. It's a healthy snack. We don't snack otherwise, really. Yeah. So. No snack cabinet. No, we just don't do that. So Tyler, this is a 12 inch, excuse me, eight inch <clears throat> chef knife. Is and that a lot, would you say? Eight inch? Eight inch, it's, it gets to 10. You can get a 12 if you're in the kitchen or the restaurant industry, but eight is perfect in the house. Has a full tang throughout the handle for balance and stability, which is important when you have a very, very sharp knife. I feel like you're about to cut yourself, Triple man. rivets so the handle stays secure. I know so much about cutlery because when I started in sales, I sold Chicago cutlery. Dude, I remember when we did, uh, almost every single time we had to do a garage sale, there were just knives everywhere samples, in the garage. Samples Dude, showed up sample, in my garage. Sample yeah. knives everywhere. It was half the garage. Was, yeah. was, uh, was I'm busted now. Yeah. Another constant in the kitchen is infused olive oil. Mm -hmm. And this one happens to be a baklouti, green yeah. chili pepper. Uh, <laughs> I use it when I make things like smothered potatoes. and mm. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. It's really good. I also am in love with infused balsamic vinegars. Mm -hmm. So this one happens to be pomegranate, and it's the one we use most consistently and we use it instead of salad dressing a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's so good, it's yeah. just so good. So our next essential in the kitchen would typically be a KitchenAid stand mixture. And you'll have it, you'll buy it, you'll have it for the rest of your life, you'll hand it down to your kids. We've had ours for 35 years, it's great. Serious? Absolutely. All right. So we're using a mini one. But we're today. using a mini one because we had to get this and Ty didn't have a stand mixer. Don't have a stand mixer. Yeah, we but just bought this house, man, about a month ago. My nephew came to visit and his statement was, if there is a spice that is not in this cabinet, it's simply because it has never been invented. So I am so into spices. There are things in here, I have no idea what they're for. Uh, Porcini Paradiso, I don't know what that is. Um, ancient Halabe, I don't know what that is. But I love spices, I mean. Rose sugar. I get excited when I go into a spice shop. So these are my spices that I use like almost every day. And these are the more exotic things that I don't use all the time. Like how often do I use caraway? I don't know, <laughs> but I have it. I have it. Exotic. That's my thing. I love spices. So our next essential is a 12 inch nonstick skillet. This is just a beautiful stainless steel nonstick skillet. Comes with uh, she looks pretty. Comes with the lid. <laughs> yeah, you would. That's and a, a pretty. And a cake. cool, a stay cool handle, which is important when it's on the stove for a long time. All right. Scale of one to ten, how useful? Oh, it's a must have. It's a must it's, have, dude. All right, that's why it's here. It's a top five. Top five. So our next essential item is a kitchen peeler, vegetable peeler. I peeled potatoes with it the other day. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. A, that's a I tedious hope. job. So what are we using it for today? Um, are we even using it today? No, we're not. But it's, but it's important. But it's important to have. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, the pièce de résistance. <laughs> this is the real deal. This is my favorite piece, but it's probably because I begged for it for like 10, 15 years. Something like that. Something like that. So <laughs> this is my pot filler. I love it. Sid has seen me use it and said, oh, you're happy now. <laughs> and my response was, you have no idea. So. <laughs> This thing is such a blessing because if you're using a really big pot, you don't have to fill it at the sink and then bring it over to the stove. You can fill it from this wall and it's a wonderful feature. I love it. The only drawback that I have found is that I am accustomed to being able to turn my water on to fill my sink and walk away. Well, I have walked away from this just a few times. Oh. Yeah. Flooded the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. Yikes. But but what gave it away was the hearing the water hit the fire. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It was a mess. <laughs> so anyway, but I love this thing. It's absolutely my favorite thing. 
All right, here's our final two uh, kitchen essential items, or my dad's kitchen essential items. But uh, I worked a, a lot of pasta back in my day. And uh, what we'd always do once we're done cooking the pasta, we always pour a lot of this olive oil over on top of the pasta. It stops the noodles from sticking together. Just a little bit, just a smidge, right? Grasshopper. You're so wrong. Oh, am I wrong? It stops the sauce from clinging to it. You don't, right. you can put a little bit on so it doesn't stick. Just a little. But you said we cover it. I said we little. You don't put a pool of olive well, oil. Well, I'm also cooking, back in the day, I was cooking big batches, though. So we had to oh, put, it, put a decent amount could... in so that it wouldn't stick, man. As long as it wasn't swimming in it. No, they weren't swimming, of course. They weren't swimming, but nothing worse than, you know. So this is really good olive oil. Um, I read a book not too long ago that 95% of the olive oil that comes in here and says it's extra virgin is not. Extra virgin. They add things to it that they're not. Can I quote you on that? 95%? That's quote the book. You don't want to necessarily cook or fry an extra virgin, but um, this stuff is really good to finish and Delicious, to uh, top you say off we... your dish. And the same with the salts. This is just one kind of salt. It's uh, Himalayan pink salt. That it's a little chunky, you, but you put this in your grinder, is it right? You know what they say once you go Himalayan, there's no other way in. It's just, you know. <laughs> okay, my first kitchen essential. Should I go grab it? Should I go get it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. But why? I made avocado toast like every day. Okay, there we go. Honestly, I think it should be a cereal bowl because she ate cereal. I do a lot. Mm. I love Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> That's our kitchen essentials. My kitchen essentials. <laughs> so that was our kitchen essentials. For those of you guys who haven't noticed, we've had uh, two bloodies here sipping on the entire time, which is one of the most important kitchen essentials on a Sunday. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Hope you guys learned something. For those of you who, you know, don't have a pot filler, get one. I'd suggest it. It'll save your life. Bada bing, bada boom. Check you next time. Bye.